Welcome to another hard-hitting edition of Duck Snow Spores. This time, we are talking about the 100th Grey Cup, which of course goes down this Sunday at 6 o'clock at the Rogers Center, a.k.a. the Sky Dome. Of course, you can watch it on TSN, Canada's sports leader. Should be a good game. You know, uh, two surprising teams, I don't think... I don't, I don't think nobody really saw being a year that Calgary playing Toronto coming into it, but it should be a great cup. In my opinion, a game that could go either way, so you really can't go wrong in this one. But we'll start this preview by we'll talk about the Calgary Stampeders. Very, very impressive last week after uh, Drew Tate went down. I thought this team had no chance uh, against the BC Lions, but I was wrong. Kevin Glenn played great last week. Did, did all the little things, like did all year when Drew Tate was out. Did all the little things right, you know. Got the ball out of his hand fast. Hand the ball off to Cook, 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 Cornish a lot. And on the other side of the ball, their defense played great. But for them to win this week, to win the Great Cup, they're going to have to do it again. They're going to have to rely heavily on the running game to kill some clock. Kevin Glenn has got to step up even more and make big plays, which he's playing good this year, you know. Cornish is their MVP on that team, but Kevin Glenn is probably their second MVP because he's been playing great this year. And very surprising. When he was in Hamilton last year, I thought his career was done. I thought it was over. I thought a backup for the rest of his career, but he's been proving me wrong this year. He's playing great. And their side on the defense, they just did enough. They didn't play great last week, but they, but when they had to make a big stop, they made the big stop. And they're going to have to do this week because... They're playing an Argonaut team who are clicking on all cylinders right now. You have a quarterback in Ricky Ray who's already who's already been in this game, you know, about a bunch of times, already won it twice. So he knows how to get it done in the big in the big big game. And a team who was a very balanced team. I mean, they they have a great running game, but they have a also great passing game as Ricky Ray passed him over three three hundred yards last week. Very, very impressive. And this running game, after get, I keep saying, get rid of Void, Boyd, but it was no problem. And, and on the other side of the ball, what more can you say about this Toronto Argonauts defense? Chris Jones knows how to, I've been saying it all year, Chris Jones knows how to coach up a defense. He's been doing it all year round. And that's what I think will be the difference this game. I think the difference will be just experience. When the lights are on bright, when championships are on the line, Ricky Ray knows how to get it done. And I think that's what's going to be a difference in this one, as I believe the Toronto Argonauts, in their home stadium, in their hometown, I believe will get it done this week. And your Grey Cup winners of Grey Cup 100 will be the Toronto Argonauts. Like I said in the video, though, a game that can go really either way and should be a very interesting game. And I'm excited because I think this will be a really, really good Grey Cup. But till next time, I'm your Ducks for saying I'm Ducks, and I know sports, kind of.